In this grade 12 economics video, we are preparing for the 2025 October November finals for your economics paper, and we are looking at the possible essays for your paper one. Now, we have already dealt with the paper one scope, so make sure that you go look into that because we also discussed in there the mark allocation and what you can expect your question paper to look like. But in this video, we are going to look at the section C of your question paper, the possible essays that can come up. As you already know from the scope video, we have two main topics that pertain to your paper one, that is the macroeconomics and economic pursuits. For section C, these questions are never mixed, meaning that they are tested individually. They make their own standalone questions. So you're going to have two questions in your section C. One is going to be in macroeconomics and the other one is going to be in economic pursuits, meaning that as you are preparing for your essay for section C, you do not need need or rather it is not necessary for you to 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 uh, prepare both main topics you can choose one main topic and make sure that you cover all the possible essays that can come up under that uh, main topic so for example let's say you go with macroeconomics then you only have to worry about the this six possible essays that you are looking at in your screen the first one is the markets within the four sector model that is one that relates to the circular flow topic then we have the second possible essay which is the new economic paradigm is the same thing as smoothing out the business cycle so it will depend on how the question is phrased but both of these things just mean the same thing features underpinning forecasting still falls under the business cycle then we have the main objectives of the public sector and reasons for public sector failure which obviously fall under the main topic of public sector and then we have the reasons for international trade so the question can focus on either the, the demand reasons or the supply reasons and this is the topic of foreign exchange markets now the recommendation of what's possible is going to depend on which province you are writing in based on what your preparatory exam looks like look so for example if in your preparatory exam they tested you on the markets within the four sector model then it is highly unlikely that in your final exam in the same year they will still test you on that same topic so i would prioritize all the other ones before i get to that one if that makes sense so because we are not all writing the same paper depending on which province we come up from we cannot specifically say that market uh the markets within a four sector model will not come up what because it's possible that in case at end you did not write that question in your preparatory but in free state in free state for example they did write that question so it will depend on what you had in your preparatory examination so as you are preparing i'm in a way saying to you go look at the previous questions that you have already been tested in and look at what essays came up and start by prioritizing the essays that didn't show up in those papers so if you're looking at all of your test papers from march up until september and you're seeing that you haven't yet been tested on the features underpinning forecasting that is the essay that you should make sure that you prioritize you start with it and you stick with it and then you go in that order now some topics may uh, repeat themselves as an additional part so make sure that you are still having a general idea or you still remember what they are In economic pursuits, we are starting with protectionism and free trade. And under that, you, uh, the possible essay that you can have come up is either going to be export promotion or import substitution. They are never usually asked together, but the export promotion can be a standalone question and the import substitution can be a standalone question on its own. Now, the export promotion can be a main part and then the import promotion be the additional part and vice versa and or they could individually be the additional part of a different essay like arguments in favor of protectionism as the main part and then for the additional part they can either ask for export promotion or import promotion so arguments in favor of protectionism is also another essay that is possible or 
arguments in favor of free trade this one once again it's up to you looking at the question papers uh the previous question paper for this current year for you preliminary for example and look at what did come up and prioritize what didn't come up so if you're looking at that question paper and you've seen that they went with the arguments in favor of protectionism i would start prioritizing the arguments in favor of free trade then when it comes to economic growth and development we are looking at the demand side approach in promoting growth and development or the supply side approach in promoting growth and development again once again these ones tend to confuse a lot of students because they think they may look like it's the same essay it's just an economic growth essay but you also have to pay attention to are we looking at the demand side or are we looking at the supply side it is very important from regional development the essay that is popular and possible to come out of there is the south african initiatives that is the endeavors in regional development so this is where you talk about the different initiatives once again i would prioritize this essay if you come from a province where you did not write this essay in the uh previous test that is the preliminary examination especially if you're going with economic pursuits and then the last possible essay is where you discuss in detail the economic indicators or the essay may say discuss in detail the social indicators and usually with the economic indicators and social indicators they may even give you a list that they want you to discuss so it's not going to be about the ones that you know because i know that a lot of students when they are studying they will look at that list and then start to study the ones that they think are easy but you also have to look at the possibility that the examiner may already list the ones that you he wants you to discuss so make sure that you are able to discuss any of the indicators that they have given to you and you're also paying attention to the fact that is this an economic indicator or is this a uh, a social indicator now if you were to ask me which one would be easier between economic pursuits and macroeconomics to choose from i would recommend that you go with one that you are already familiar with meaning the one that you already wrote in your preparatories <laughs> recommend you more of my videos be sure to click the like button and subscribe to the channel and if you have any questions leave them in the comment section below